At divorce proceedings, courts determine a couple's marital property and award the property, as well as alimony and child support if necessary, between the couple. In Mickey v. Mickey, the court considered whether a spouse's disability benefits he received from an injury suffered after the divorce could be part of the court's original award of alimony to the other spouse. Jacqueline and Daryl Mickey divorced in 2001. At the time of the divorce, Daryl had worked as a correctional officer for the state of Connecticut for 14 years. He was enrolled in a retirement system for state employees. Because of his job, he was potentially eligible for hazardous duty retirement benefits and disability retirement benefits. The trial court that dissolved Jacqueline and Daryl's marriage ordered that Jacqueline was entitled to 40% of Daryl's monthly retirement payments upon retirement. If Daryl qualified for the hazardous duty retirement benefits, the 40% would apply to those monthly pension payments. The court's memorandum of decision didn't mention any potential disability payments. After their divorce, Daryl was injured at work, became disabled, and had to retire because of it. Daryl received $990 a month in retirement payments, which later became $2,382.30 a month once the state certified his disability and provided him with enhanced benefits. The 40% Jacqueline received was calculated based on Daryl's entire monthly benefits payment, including the enhanced portion from his disability benefits. Daryl moved for clarification, asking the trial court to clarify that the court never meant for his disability benefits to be distributed. He also argued that the court didn't have the authority to distribute his disability benefits because the benefits accrued after the divorce. Jacqueline moved to dismiss Daryl's motion. The court denied both motions and said Daryl's disability payments were part of his retirement benefits and included in the court's order. Daryl appealed. 